why does my time not belong to me anymore? Just because I become a mom, I don't have space to exist anymore? How is that fair? Because my husband became a dad and he still has space to exist, you know? Um, everybody encourages him to be ambitious and to work hard and to, uh, you know, and to, you know, have a nice career. And nobody's questioning him being away from the home or nobody's questioning him taking trips to go to conferences or to go to, um, you know, to go <laughs> with his friends on trips so why is there a double standard why would it be completely normal for mothers to sacrifice everything and not for dads because if we're saying that this is how the ideal parent should be why isn't it applying to fathers Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and if you're new here, welcome! My name is Soraya, I'm a mother of two and here on this channel I talk about motherhood, children empowerment and social emotional learning. So if these are topics you're interested in, I would love for you to subscribe, make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you never miss one of my videos. Today's video is part of a series called The Laundry Talk where I talk about motherhood struggle from a feminist perspective while folding my laundry because you know I need some time to fold my laundry. In today's video, we're going to be talking about mom guilt and more specifically, working mom guilt. I don't know about you, but ever since I became pregnant, I have started feeling intense guilt about every little thing. When I was pregnant, it was, you know, guilt about what I ate or did not eat. It was guilt about if I missed, you know, taking my vit vitamins for a day or, you know, not exercising enough. Um, when I delivered my first baby, I felt guilty that I needed to use an epidural. So, and then, you know, that was just the start. I have felt guilty throughout my journey as a mom and specifically since I have started working again, I currently work uh, part-time and I'm very blessed that I get to work from home, but still I work and my children attend nursery three days a week. Um, and there is a lot of guilt around that. And I find that generally as mothers, there is a lot of guilt around how we spend our time so, you know, I feel so guilty for working and being away from my children for three days a week. But also, I feel super guilty that I'm not bringing a bigger income to the home and that a lot of our, you know, living expenses and stuff rely heavily on my husband. I feel guilty when the house is a huge mess um, and the dishes aren't clean. But at the same time, I also feel guilty if I take a lot of time away from my kids during the day to do all of these house chores. I feel guilty whenever I lose my temper and yell at my kids or when I'm unfair, uh, you know, when my reaction is disproportionate to the situation. But at the same time, I also feel incredibly guilty to, when I take some time to self-care and when I take some time to myself, you know. I have... Uh, traveled away from my children both for my work and also there's twice um, in the last three years where I traveled away from my kids just to just to have a bit of a break and both times I had stomach ache from the guilt of leaving my children um, even though you know I can't be an incredibly relaxed mom and keep my cool all the time if I haven't also taken the time to rest and recuperate uh, because as we know being a mom is incredibly exhausting. So now the question becomes how come the way we spend our time is such a massive source of guilt for us mothers? And you know I was reading an article um, and I will link it in the description box below um, but it's it's been written by um, a mother who is also an entrepreneur and she was talking about um, this, exactly this, you know, working mom guilt and about, she was saying how it's like the minute you become a mother, it's almost like your primary function is to care for this new baby and everything else completely ceases to exist or should at least cease to exist and to matter in your own eyes. It's like there is this intense feeling that as a mother you should be completely selfless and you should only care about your child's well-being and even more than that, it's like 
how could you want anything else in life? How could you want to be elsewhere um, than when you're ch with your child? How could you want to be with other people? How could you want a career when there is this tiny being who is completely reliant on you and who is such a blessing and who is going to grow so fast? And how could you not want to spend every second of every day just caring for your child? And how could you not feel completely fulfilled by it, just doing that? And of course, some mothers do want to stay with their child full time and do feel fulfilled staying at home and caring for their children. And, you know, I spoke about it in one of my previous Laundry Talk episodes. And I think that this should be completely respected and uh, appreciated. Um, and there are mothers who are like me, a little bit in between. I do want to spend loads of time with my kids, but I also, you know, I love my work. I love what I'm doing. I believe in what I'm doing. I'm working for a charity organization and I strongly believe in our mission. And so I, I, I don't feel ready to let go of that. But at the same time, I have I, I chose a job where you know with flexible hours and that's only part time so that I could spend loads of time with my kids so I feel like I'm kind of in between and torn but wherever you are on the spectrum you know motherhood comes with this intense guilt around how you spend your time and even if you don't go back to work, it's about, you know, how much time did you spend, you know, uh, stimulating your children today? And, you know, did you actually spend enough quality time with your kids today? And it just seems to never be enough. And there's always this intense guilt about how you spend your time. And you will find that working moms and stay-at-home moms alike um, will have a very hard time you know, um, caring for themselves and caring for their own health. And this is why mental health is a real issue for mothers because, you know, there is so much guilt around dedicating any amount of time to themselves when there is these tiny human humans who need them so much. But I think we need to go a little deeper than that and think about why that is. Why is there such a guilt in wanting to continue to exist outside of motherhood? Why is there such a guilt in how we spend our time? You know, because most of us will still spend a considerable amount of time caring for our children and a considerable amount of energy um, and mental space thinking about, you know, what is best for our children and how to better equip them for life and all of these things. Why are we so consumed by guilt? And I think the answer to that is that in our patriarchal society, our fulfillment as individuals has no value. Our fulfillment as people has no value. Um, and all that matters is fulfilling our roles as mothers. But our own dreams, our own passions, our own ambitions have no space anymore. Why is it so normal? for a man to have ambition and to pursue a career and for the woman to make all the sacrifices so that he can do so. Um, but then whatever she wants to do with her life really doesn't matter, as if she shouldn't aspire to anything other than being a mother and a wife. And why are we held to these impossibly high standards? And again, I've made another video about it, which I will link in the description box below. But today there are incredibly high standards um, to be a good mother and to care for our children. And, um, you know, there's such a huge amount of research and, you know, research <laughs> and expert advice on how to raise children, which ask and a huge amount of parental involvement and which demands of parents that they are very, very hands-on, which takes a huge amount of time and, you know, gives even less time for mothers to, you know, just continue living and continue having a career and continue having their own dreams and passions and hobbies and time to self-care and all of that. And we are constantly looking to fix everything that we're struggling internally like it's something that within us that needs to be fixed you know you've lost your temper oh well you need to work on your self-regulation and your self-control hang on a minute maybe it's not something internal maybe you know maybe you need to also exist as a person you know um are you missing your career are you missing some time to yourself do you need a holiday with your friends with your girlfriends without your kids you know 
it doesn't have to always be something internal, but we are always so focused on the problem coming from ourselves. And that's because what, that's what society is telling us. Society is constantly sending us the message that if we are facing any struggles as mothers, then it's something that comes from ourselves that we have to fix. And because we are so exhausted and so consumed by this guilt, we don't take the time to actually question things. Why does my time not belong to me anymore? Just because I become a mom, I don't have space to exist anymore? How is that fair? Because my husband became a dad and he still has space to exist, you know. Um, everybody encourages him to be ambitious and to work hard and to, uh, you know, and to, you know, have a nice career. And nobody's questioning him being away from the home or nobody's questioning him taking trips to go to conferences or to go to, um, you know, to go <laughs> with his friends on trips so why is there a double standard why would it be completely normal for mothers to sacrifice everything and not for dads because if we're saying that this is how the ideal parent should be why isn't it applying to fathers i guess it comes down to us you know i guess it's never gonna be society or men who come to us and present us with our freedom and our rights and a completely new vision of motherhood and parenthood and family life. I guess it's for us to take what's ours and I guess it's for us to stop being complicit in our own oppression and to stop, to stop accepting this reality. I guess it's down to us as mums to, when this mum guilt is creeping in, push it back and take, take a few minutes to think, wait, what do I want? And why shouldn't I get what I want? Because the truth is, children greatly benefit from a happy mother. And if you never have any space to exist, how can you be happy? And in this article that I was talking um, to you about earlier, um, the author says something that I think is very powerful and I just want to read it to you. Again, this article will be linked in the description box below. She says, we can't change how other people value us, but we can change how we value ourselves. We can't change the whole culture, but we can change the culture within our homes. It's in your hands to change the culture in your home. It's in your hands to expect your husband to support you more, to help with house chores more so that you have more space to exist and to do what you want, whether it's professionally or whether it's a hobby or whether it's just time to rest and relax. You don't even have to justify it and you don't even have to uh, have something concrete that you're doing. You know, you want to sit on the sofa and stare at the wall. You should be allowed to sit on the sofa and stare at the wall. You know, um, I find that one of my struggles is that whenever my husband is caring for the children, I will feel incredibly guilty if I'm doing nothing. I feel like I have to justify him um, looking after our kids or whoever, you know, whether it's a, my husband or a family member. I have to justify that by doing something incredibly uh, productive during that time. I have to justify that by, you know, I'm busy cleaning the house or I'm doing some work or I'm doing something really productive. Why? Why? My time belongs to me. I'm allowed to have time where I do nothing. We all need time to be unproductive. And when you become a mother, there is so little time for you to be unproductive. You know, I made a video about mommy burnout and I spoke about how we all need some time to think. You need some time to think. You need some time to do nothing and to just just be, just breathe, just pray, talk to God, talk to yourself, think about nothing. Think about nothing. So yes, I guess I'm uh, not in a place where I can give people advices because <laughs> clearly this is, this is something that I need to work on myself. But I just wanted to share this reflection and thoughts with you in hopes that maybe this will spark a reflection for you too. And if you do have some experiences that you would like to share, please do so in the comments below. Uh, by the way, it really helps my channel if you comment that down below or give this video a like. So, and it also lets me know that you're interested in these topics and that I should continue to do them. So please make sure you do that. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a beautiful day.